All right, so here we go. Um, right now I'm making a jumper wire for my neutrals. Um, Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna sister them up. Uh, I don't wanna double the neutrals up on a, on the same screw on the switch because that's a surefire way to have one of them come loose and then you don't have a neutral anymore. So I'm gonna join these two together with a wire nut and uh, three I should say with a wire nut and then come to the switch always run your J hooks on your wires I don't use those push-in tabs or push-in slots on the back of a switch. You'll see a bunch of holes on the back of a receptacle or a switch. I don't use those. Because um, I think they only hold 14 gauge wire. You try to stick a 12 gauge in there and it won't, it won't go. But you always put your, uh, you always put your, when you bend, put your J bend in the wire, you always put it in the direction of the rotation of the screw. That way, when it, uh, and I always pinch them. That way, when it, you're tightening the screw, you're actually helping to keep the wire on the screw. Just in case you guys didn't know this. Um, Never know who's watching this. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with the ground. I'm gonna put a, a pigtail on it. I clean all my papers off. Just cause I like a nice tidy box. can be interpreted more ways than one. Wink, wink. All right, do I need copper jumpers? Yes, I do. That one just might work. So I take all my, all my grounds, put them together like that, put a wire nut on. pigtail out like that put a J bend in it like that put it on a ground screw in direction of the let's see it's tightening this way in the direction of rotation screw like that pinch the wire shut and then run the screw home there that switch is now wired I can tuck my wire nuts back 
I got my black to my common. I got my black to my switched. Both wires are coming out the back. One has been stubbed down through the access port in the trailer floor. Sometimes it's a bitch to get these things in there. You got all these wire nuts in the way. If you have to, if the switch is sitting in there crooked like this one is, you can always uh, take a pair of pliers and uh, twist it a little bit so that it's it's good to go. So now this switch is now complete. I got power coming from the breaker to the switch, out of the breaker, down to the whip, through the floor. Now I can uh, now I can work on the. Um, this heavy gauge wire is going to be for the heat tapes, so we'll start that next. <laughs> 